Right, big disclaimer before I start this video, I'm looking really washed out because it is late in the day and the light is really bad so I'm having to sit in front of the patio window so it's probably making me look as white as a ghost. So sorry about that, I hope it doesn't cause too much distraction. Anyway, on to the video. Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. So today I'm going to be doing Ari's four month update. So as usual I've got a list of things on my phone of everything that she's done this month. I know some of you might think well you know she's your child how can you not remember what she's done. That's because she is a clever little thing and I can't keep track of how much she does do and in which month. So as the months go on I make a list of all the new things so then for each monthly update I know you know, all the milestones and things like that. So when I film in this video, Ari is currently in bed, so I can't show you her in this video, but as usual, I will be adding in lots of clips of her doing all the things I'm going to be talking about. So there'll be plenty of baby for all you people out there that need their baby fix. So let's get started. So I feel like I've said this for the last update I did, and I'm gonna say it again, but this month has been a very busy month with Aria learning lots of new things. So I would say the biggest thing that she has learned this month is being able to roll onto her front. So she can roll onto her front now, but she can't roll from her front to back. But I definitely know that she wants to roll onto her back and she gets very frustrated if she can't do it. And as usual, I was very lucky to capture that milestone on camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Nearly there. Go on. This should work out further on. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> wow. She's actually really good at rolling on her front now. That now she likes to sleep on her side, but because she's so good at it, in her sleep, she like manages to roll onto her front and it sort of wakes her up a bit, which I don't think she likes. Another thing that she's done this month is she has found her feet. So she's gone through, I think it's the fourth leap. I've got an app called the Wonder Weeks app and it basically tells you when your baby is going through a de de developmental Developmental? A development leap, basically. And she has definitely gone through it. And, and I think it said that after this one, that she would be able to have a lot more control over her, like, arms and feet, and basically just all her limbs. So when she moves things, she has all of a sudden become very aware that she's the one doing it. So she often looks down and kicks her feet and is thinking, oh, I'm doing that. And so now she grabs them and is a lot more interested in them. And with that, she likes to explore people's faces. So a lot of people that sort of hold her get a hand in the face, hand in the mouth. She pulls on my hair all the time, which is really painful, which is why I've actually got it tied up today because I was sick of seeing clumps of my hair in my baby's hands. <laughs> She's also been quite windy this month, but I think that has been down to like having a leap. So when they have a leap, things do get a bit much for them. You know, a lot's going on in their brain and they just get overtired. But also, when I try and put her down for a nap, she doesn't want to go down for a nap and it's just like a vicious circle. So she's windy because she's tired, then she won't go to sleep so she's even more tired, and then she whinges and then I just lose the plot basically. So on top of the whinginess, we definitely think she is teething. Now she hasn't been like teething too badly, so her cheeks aren't like bright red and things like that, but the amount of dribble is unreal. So when I used to pack my nappy bag, when I went out, I'd always make sure I had a bib because, you know, newborns, they're very sicky. But then she sort of grew out of the sicky phase, so I thought, oh, I don't really need any bibs. Well, now I need bibs because she just dribbles down all her clothes. And although dribble doesn't, you know, really affect the clothes, it can dry. I'm just worried that if her wet clothes are on her skin, then it's going to just cause a bit of irritation and discomfort. This month, she has also learned to blow raspberries. <laughs> Very good, very good. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Aria. <gasps> Clever girl. So she can do it with her tongue sticking out and without her tongue sticking out. But it just amazes me that a baby that's only four months old 
can figure out how to do those things without like you explaining them so that just blew my mind she also had a second lot of jabs this month and i would to be honest i was dreading it because the first lot she just screamed the place down but luckily this time she barely even made a sound and she just went straight to sleep after i think it's because I timed it so as we were going in she was sort of due for a nap so she sort of had the injections and then had a nap and because this time she only had, I can't remember which one she did have but she didn't have the meningitis one, I think that's the one, and that's normally the one that gives them the fever and makes them really grisly, she didn't have like any after effects at all which was really good although she's now got her third lot of jabs next week but again that involves the meningitis one so I'm fully expecting to have a whingy baby so she as well as her feet she has also discovered her head and hair so if you've been watching my videos and if you follow her instagram and things like that which i will put a link up here if i figure out how to do it if not it will be in the description bar aria has a tuft now this tuft of hair she has also now become aware of it so she started to pull it and thinking oh what is that on the top of my head and it's really funny to watch because I don't know about you but when I pull my hair it definitely hurts but she's pulling her hair and she's not batting an eyelid so I keep saying well you rather you pull your hair than my hair something else that she's also been able to do is she's been able to sit up unaided now before you think oh my goodness that's amazing for a four month old baby she can literally only do it for like a few seconds before she like flops to the side I still think it's because her head is so heavy I think although she's got a really strong neck once her neck muscles are even stronger I think she'll be able to sit up soon and again this month she has been so noisy she loves to jabber to herself jabber to people she loves to scream shout coo make humming noises basically She's like her mother, she loves to talk. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> and I suppose the final thing to say is she is still an exclusively breastfed baby, which I am really proud about because I know that some people really do struggle to breastfeed and I'm not saying for any of you mums out there that haven't breastfed like oh my goodness that's disgusting nothing like that at all but because I know how hard it can be for some people I just feel so lucky and privileged that I've been able to do that so for any of you breastfeeding mummies out there I don't know if you know about it but there's like a breastfeeding awards and this month mark is four months so that means I achieved ruby boobs yay so I think next month if we manage to continue to breastfeed I'll get ruby boobs with glitter nipples so yeah how exciting is that so yeah that is basically it for this month's update I try to keep it as short and sweet as possible um, and as per usual I will add on Aria's one second day for this month at the end of this video if you like this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you're not already please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time bye Thank you.